Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. Well, there's been a lot of chatter in the community lately about watch face coupons, and this all revolves around new rules that Samsung put in place as of August 1st. And I wanted to create a little video that kind of demystify or at least clarify these new rules and how they affect viewers as well as developers, because I think there's a little bit of confusion and frustration as well about them. And I also want to talk about a little bit more about the purpose of the coupons and how they affect ranking inside the Samsung Galaxy S store for all these watch faces. But first, let's go for a little early morning run. Catch you guys soon. All right, guys, let's jump right into it and let's talk about what this new coupon code policy is. Now, as of August 1st, developers are only allowed to distribute 50 codes per watch face per country per month. Now, you may think 50 codes per country is still pretty good, but keep in mind that those code generator tools that many developers have been using can push out hundreds to thousands of coupons per country. And there was previously no limit on how often these could be distributed, meaning if a developer wanted to, they could release a thousand codes per day or more because there was no limit as to the amount that they could give away. So you may be asking, well, why has a limit been imposed in the first place? Well, it has to do with two main factors, one being related to the ranking of watch faces inside the Galaxy App Store, and the second factor relates to the revenue generated from watch face sales. Now, in terms of ranking, downloads directly affect where a watch face is gonna be positioned or ranked inside the store. So for example, if you go to the top watch faces area, you're gonna see a list of the top ranked watch faces for your region. Now I'm in Canada, so based on my area, these are the top downloaded watch faces here. And the key to what I said is downloaded because downloaded could mean a customer obtained this watch face through a purchase or sale, or they could have obtained it through a free coupon code, such as from a code generator or distribution tool. In other words, if you give away enough codes, then you can affect the ranking of where your design will be positioned and a higher ranking means more exposure to your watch face, which generally results in better sales. Keep in mind that there are over 70,000 watch faces inside the Galaxy App Store. So visibility is a huge part of the success of any watch face design. Now for comparison purposes, think of it this way. Amazon has a similar ranking structure in place whereby the most purchased items are always ranked first in search results, which makes perfect sense because if a product has a high volume of purchases, then that usually means it's a product that is very popular among customers and you'd want to show that item first to other customers that are seeking the same product. The difference with Amazon is that the ranking system is tied directly to a sale and not a giveaway. Meaning if an Amazon seller gave away 100% off codes for its product, that would not affect their product ranking. Now there have been rumors about Samsung implementing a similar system or at least tweaking their ranking algorithm so that the position of a watch face is based solely on a sale and not simply a download. For now though, what they have done instead is implemented a limit on the amount of codes a developer can give away, which then will significantly reduce the impact that downloads are going to have on ranking watch faces. So what does this mean going forward? Well, I think this new policy will also significantly reduce usage or eliminate completely using code generator tools. Those tools were great for sharing hundreds and thousands of codes per country, but I think they're going to become ineffective and downright frustrating for the customers for smaller giveaways, which we have already seen the effect of only a couple days into this new policy. So now you may be asking, so what the heck is the solution? Well, I think smaller giveaways are still gonna be used, albeit the marketing or promotional strategy of how they are distributed will change. For example, I came up with the coupon giveaway structure on the channel three years ago by randomly selecting a small amount of viewers to win codes, and I still utilize that format today. So I think watch face reviewers like myself are gonna become even more important resource for promoting watch faces and distributing codes going forward. I think there's gonna be a transition period for developers as they realign their marketing strategies to adhere to this new Samsung policy, 
which yes, will result in less freebies being floated around out there, but on the positive side, it's gonna create a healthier and more value added ecosystem for developers to work in. And it will allow them to be fairly compensated for their work because let's face it, giving away products for free or even working for free does not put food on the table. It also should result in better watch face designs because if there are less freebies to go around, which means more customers are now gonna have to make purchases for those watch faces, that should motivate the developers to create even more stunning designs so that they can stand out and compete with the rest of the pack. Anyways guys, I wanted to share this change with all of you because I've been getting a ton of questions about it from both viewers and developers. So I hope this helps clear up about how a watch face ranking works inside the Galaxy App Store and the reason behind the new policy that went into effect August 1st. And as always, I will continue to share with you guys not only great watch face designs, but I'll also offer free codes for giveaways. So make sure you smash that subscribe button if you've not done so already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in our next episode. Until then, take care.